Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture on subsystem design, ADAS. ADAS is one of the very important subsystem in our digital circuit design. So in digital circuits, we are going to use ADAS to get some addition functionality wherever sum and carry is required. So half adder and full adders are the two important adder blocks we are going to use regularly. So here uh, you can look at the half adder circuit and the full adder circuit. Here a half adder is going to add only two bit A and B. Sum and carry are the outputs. So we can easily implement this using expression sum is equal to A plus half B that is XRing A and B we are going to get sum and A dot B Unding A and B, we are going to get carry. This is the very simple uh, implementation of a adder. Similarly, if you look at the full adder, we can we will be having inputs A, B, and C. So wherever the third input is in our system, we need to add three bits at a time. So we require full adder. Otherwise, we say if multiple adders are to be cascaded, so where each must be able to receive carry in. In such requirements, we need to use full adder. So, full adder to table uh, says here is the sum as well as y that is c out. So, by looking at the two table, we can write the circuit, uh, we can write the expression like a b bar c c bar plus a bar b c bar plus a bar b bar c plus a b c is the expression for sum. Similarly, carry out can be written as a b plus a c plus b c. So by using these two expressions, if we implement full adder in a CMOS logic, it takes these many transistors. Here you can see this figure 11.3 is the full adder design, where B is to get the sum using XR gate. Since the sum is A plus of B plus of C, it is XR of all the three inputs. So we can use XR gate, three input XR gate structure to get sum. But here, to generate A bar, B bar and C bar, we require three extra inverters. Okay. So the third uh, structure here says uh, the generation of C out. The C out is uh, implemented using again CMOS logic, but here the expression AB plus AC plus BC is reduced to AB plus C into A plus B. And how this C out is going to be generated, if you look at the truth table, this C out will be generated means C out will be 1 only when majority of the inputs are 1. That's why we can treat this C out as a majority gate. So the majority gate is the implementation here so that we will be getting C out. And one more thing is that you can observe here the CMOS implementation is not like the pull down and the complementary pull up. It is a mirror circuit. Okay. How actually the pull down network will be similarly the pull up network is designed. Similarly, here also for C out, the same pull down network replaced with the P transistors in series and combinations are same. This implementation will be called as a mirror implementation, CMOS mirror implementation. Here you can count the transistors, requires total 32 transistors you are getting some and carry out. So in VLSI, our intention is to reduce the number of transistors count so that we can reduce the area required. Right? So, let us take sum in terms of C out bar. So this implementation reduces the number of transistor count. So how to get this expression first? Let me tell you. This is the truth table of the full adder. As we know, take C out bar over here. If you take C out bar, the values are inverted. Means C out will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 for these set of values. When I take C out bar, the complement of these will be the output. So let me treat this as a fourth input now to generate sum. By using C out bar, we are going to write the expression for sum. So if I write the expression for sum using C out bar, it will be like this. So wherever C out bar is 1, uh, so I can write, so wherever sum is 1, I can write the expression sum is equal to C in and C out bar plus B C out bar plus A C out bar plus A B uh, C. Right? This is how we can write the sum expression. If I reduce this expression into the simplest form, we can take C out as common 
it becomes a plus b plus c plus a b c now this is the expression we need to implement using c mass logic to get the uh, output c out is equal to c in into a plus b plus a b so here we will be having a plus b so connect parallel to n cross transistors with a and b so that it is a pull down structure for a plus b and dot c in c in it need to be connected in series now these two in parallel and this is in series it makes c in into a plus b plus a b a b in series and these two should be parallel since we are having plus so we need to connect in parallel the complementary of this will be connected in the pull up transistors uh, using p transistors okay. so here we are going to get the output c out bar why because in the c out expression we will be not having any complete bar at the expression so cmos implementation will be for the complete bar that's why if we implement the expression as it is we are going to get the complete bar at the output so this is c out bar now c out bar is uh, ready i need to write uh, this implementation for sum so this is the circuit for generating sum so again in the sum we will be having a plus b plus c in uh, dot c out bar that's why a plus b plus c in dot c out bar this is what the part of the circuit giving c out bar into a plus b plus c in plus a b c in so a b c in is uh, connected in series the parallel connection of these two making the pull down structure so in the pull up we need to connect in parallel that's why the pull down transistors if you look at wherever the series connections are there uh, uh, convert that into parallel and parallel connections are there convert that into series in pull up so here also again we are going to get some bar why because for some expression will be not having a complete bar in the expression that's why some bar is the output so c out and some we are supposed to take the output from this circuit that's why uh, here we are using an inverter the inverted version of c out bar is c out similarly the inverted version of some bar is some over here again uh, this circuit also can be implemented by using the mirror logic where the complementary pull up transistors uh, the series will be converted into parallel is not required since adder is a symmetric one and we can use the mirror technique here so in this circuit you can observe how this uh, cmos implementation is converted into mirror circuit here you can uh, see this is input c in and uh, the two transistors with ab input uh, and parallel ab which is same as this right but the pull up is changed here the pull up is the mirror circuit similarly for generating some also so by this method we can reduce the number of transistors into 28 in the previous case of implementation we have seen the number of transistors required is 32 it is now reduced to 28